What's going on people, welcome to Country 7 Works and today we're having a look at the Ford Transit. It's kind of a different episode today. I chose this track, or there's this car and track combination uh, for a specific reason. You can probably tell maybe by the title and the thumbnail, I don't know how I'm going to present it. I'm not going to be the first to try this car and this track or this combination or anything like that. But Sabine Schmitz died and that was kind of sad that was it was kind of unexpected apparently she'd been ill uh, unfortunately had cancer and passed away today kind of unexpectedly and um, today's st patrick's day hence repping the green it's all literally the only green t-shirt that i have and yeah i just haven't made a video in a while honestly and i just have what better way to do it. i've always wanted to do the transit on the number green from obviously the top gear episode like if you if for some reason you don't know sabine schmidt basically is a very famous female racing driver from germany she's very successful um doing races in the number green uh, she set up her own racing team that's done very well finishing third i think at one point in in um, like a Nürburgring endurance event and yeah she's kind of most known I guess I, th I think it's fair enough to say for her segment in Top Gear back in the day where they basically seen I think it was for like the anniversary of the Transit or something like that they tried to see how quick you could get a Transit around the Nordschleife they tried to see if they can get under 10 seconds uh, because I think Jeremy Clarkson does it in like a Jaguar in just over 10 seconds and I think her famous quote is I can do that time in a van and she goes and does it <laughs> um, yeah I think she was getting close and then they stripped out a few bits that they didn't need in it and she, she, she pulls it in 9 minutes or something seconds i'm not going for the time it would be fun to see if it's possible if i can do it but i haven't driven this van since it came out uh, it's, a, it's a great little mod and yeah i haven't done a video in a while and all that kind of glass. so i'm not really going for the time i just want to experience it i've always found as i said i wanted to experience it it's going to be slightly different uh, and kind of like a bit more poignant obviously now knowing why we're why we're doing it yeah again as i said not the first person to do this not some breaking new mod or anything like that it's just it seemed like a nice uh, tribute to sabine today and i probably won't even be with this, the only one to upload a video like this today so if your inbox all of a sudden has like a load of different videos of transits on north life apologies to, to add to that pile, but i just thought it'd be a nice way to do it so with the intro and the kind of like kind of explanation for why we're doing this out of the way it's by gary peterson who's kind of like a well-known well-respected mod creator and um, 3d modeler and stuff like that in the south uh, course community and basically yeah, it's got 135 brake horsepower which is actually not awful then again <laughs> it's not that lot it's not a whole lot more it's only about 40 odd more than my car has and that's a Toyota Yaris so that amount of horsepower pulling around such a bigger like a van like is not ideal yeah, but it's got 375 newton meters of torque and the problem is that it weighs 2070 kilos so that's about three three and a half thousand pounds if I'm not mistaken yeah, with only 135 horsepower pulling it along so it's not it's not the quickest thing in the world shall we say but yeah super cool really kind of accurate I think I did a livery for for it if i'm not mistaken if maybe it wasn't for this one i definitely i did a re, um livery for a transit at some point for the irish guard uh, guardy police van oh it's the it's the it's the four transit police van <laughs> mod there's a different variation of it that has the police lights and stuff on top but yeah basically if you don't know what we do here i guess i'll just do it like a normal episode from here on out we basically take a look at the inside we do a vr test to make sure that it passes the vr test and just have a look around make sure everything looks good and all is high quality then we do a sound test we listen to the audio inside and out to see if it's got some good sound to it kind of hard like it's kind of weird to tell in a diesel van like whether it sounds good or not but we'll see and then lastly yeah as i said we take it for one single lap of the norber uh, the norbergring nordschleife tourist track uh, and as i said earlier on not going for laps right like that just seeing what we can do basically so that's about it we are going to go for the lap i'll meet you on track all right first thoughts actually pretty spectacular i'm not gonna lie so as you might notice if you've seen the last few episodes a lot of my complaints have been like the lack of kind of proper accurate shading and ambient occlusion and that kind of stuff like that in these cars in these mods this has it in spades so again as i said gary patterson is a well-known modder he is he is known for his high quality and kind of and that kind of thing i do have a little bit of experience my dad did drive a trans i think it was a transit for his work years and years ago i don't think it would have been this model necessarily but yeah like you can see all the stitch work there on the seats the seat belt all the kind of again ambient occlusion shadows and behind the seat belt very kind of realistic looking all the buttons there it looks like i can reach out, reach out and touch them again it's just that level of shading if mod creators would just add in that extra level of shading shadowing ambient occlusion whatever you want to call it it just adds such another level of depth and realism uh, to the insides of these cars you see the big gear stick here here's a fun fact I don't think you can hear that because I'm using RTX voice, but I finally got my shifter sorted. <laughs> I'm going to be making a video on that, but uh, long story short, yeah, it took me quite a long while, but um, I finally got my Trustmaster TH8A. It originally arrived, damaged, and then uh, I sent it back, and then it uh, it's arrived again. So I've been playing with that today, getting used to it. As I said, video on that to come, the whole kind of saga and experience. But yeah, you can see all the pockets down there and all. Yeah, it just looks good. Mirrors work. Obviously no rear mirror because that even the reflection on the lights like that's just perfect the, the 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 job that he's done here is just absolutely fantastic so so with the car with the van passing the vr test up next we go for the sound so this is going to be an interesting one it is a van which should be a diesel so let's see i mean 
I wouldn't. I, it doesn't sound realistic. I shouldn't say that it's bad. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't phrase it as bad. But it doesn't sound realistic. It doesn't sound accurate to a to a diesel. But I can only imagine the hassle in trying to find a diesel, uh, like a decent diesel engine kind of sample to work from. Mm, yeah, like it's interesting. Like you can definitely hear again if you know how sound mods are made in F mod. You can hear the way you can hear the transition between the samples. If that makes sense, you mustn't have a, had a lot of available samples to use. But we go from the outside. I mean, the idle is on point. <laughs> like that's a diesel idle if ever I heard it. A diesel idle. Happy day. <laughs> outside sounds very good, actually. Yeah, I have to say, outside outside sounds very solid. Uh, so that's really good. The interior just let it down a little bit. So, in tribute to Sabine Schmitz, here we go. Rest in peace, foot cancer. That's all I can say. All right, well, the gear stick is working anyway, so I need to just adjust my physical driving position. A bit too close. Now, of course, the layout that she did on Top Gear was slightly different. They were doing it from the uh, the bridge, like the start-finish kind of line bridge thing back there and of course we're on the norch life so it's slightly different i don't necessarily as i said i don't think i'm going to even come close to getting under 10 seconds or 10 10 minutes rather but it's for the fun bit so it doesn't it doesn't fly out the gate shall we say <laughs> initial impressions um i'm also trying to use the do this hoodless now that i don't need to have the gear indicator down there because i've got the actual shifter so i should be able to tell what gear i'm in And again, apologies as ever, Steam. I have not found out a workaround other than playing without a t-shirt on. Coincidentally enough, yeah, playing without a t-shirt on seems to be the only way that I can get around the insane Steam in the headset. So the options are either deal with the Steam or uh, basically just shut off the webcam and not have the webcam portion. And I like the webcam portion for some reason, I don't know. The great speed. <laughs> Drop down to second. Clip that clipping point. That's the drifter in me, the clipping point. The uh, the apex runner. <laughs> See, slower cars and obviously vans. There we go, there's that mistake again. Slower vans, slower vehicles, let's just say, like this, are actually, can, they can be surprisingly tricky to drive because you don't know how to drive them. Oh, and I, like even stuff like changing the gear, like there's not a clear and obvious like you've reached red line. Well, I'm not fu I'm not fully worked out uh, putting the putting the THAA into gear, making sure that I've got a click into place right. But uh, yeah, like they definitely like the sense of speed as well or lack of it there or far. Oh God, I'm so high. <laughs> like, the other thing as well, the driving position, you're miles up high above the road. Like, how much do I need to brake for? Like, is it is it that intense? Like, I don't... It's, it's a weird one. I don't feel like I'm going to have to let off overflow plats. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, I might have to shift down a gear or two, though. No, we're good. Yeah, absolutely flat out. Ludicrous speed, as Jeremy Clarkson says. <laughs> but uh yeah and this is like crazy as i say doing this in a game is like wild enough to try to be like how the hell do you approach this for sabine to do this in real life and be like confident enough to be like yeah i can do faster and under different conditions as well you have to consider like with the reduced weight and stuff like that like that car that van is going to feel different like the van is going to feel different even from her previous attempt like Oh, I forgot that's reverse. Okay, that was the shifter. I went to put it into, uh, I think, fifth gear, and I put it into seventh, which I've reassigned it to reverse. As I... It's a long story. Heel tone the transit. You throw it in. <laughs> oh, man. I've actually seen a video on Jimmy's uh, a video or a highlight on Jimmy's channel of him doing racing in these, and I think that would be a blast. I'd love to take part in a race around a kind of a a good track in one of these things. Just 
So just trying to work out where the, <laughs> the curious is. I was like, oh, is that fifth or reverse again? Yeah, I don't uh, I don't have high hopes for this being a sub 10 minute, but we'll see. Oh, that's why that's bad. Ah. <laughs> I mean, lap time and validated at the very, at the best of times, but let's, can we just bring it back into a bit of order here now? Right. <laughs> Now, to be fair, I make a mess of that corner in, like, the best of cars that I've driven, let alone a, a transit, so. Again, apologies about the steam. I do I do realise like, it must be very annoying, but just straight up, nothing I can do. I tried opening the window. I tried, because I use RTX voice. Oh, didn't need to change down there. Uh, because I use RTX voice, I've tried opening the window and stuff like that, and, like, that should minimise any background sound. Still doesn't help. Still doesn't cool me down. It's very annoying. Plus, it's actually unseasonably, I say unseasonably, it's like the start of, like, it's like spring now. But it is unseasonably warm the last couple of days. It was 18 degrees Celsius um, yesterday when I was getting into the car, which for Ireland in the middle of March is, that's outrageously warm. <laughs> like, so. Yeah, I have to say, it's the, the van again. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, breaking from Miss Hit Miss. The van feels fantastic, I have to say. Like, you can feel the weight, you can feel the kind of weight transfer and sluggishness to it. The only real mistakes I've made so far are just not being used to it in general and um, messing up the gear change that time. Oh, a bit of oversteer. <laughs> are transits front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive? I should have looked into that. Let me know in the comments, because I... Um I do do not know, and that seemed like I was able to catch a power slide surprisingly handy there for a front wheel drive van. But um, yeah, another thing like is to obviously let's let's talk about Sabine a little bit. So as I said, like most people will recognize her from that Top Gear segment, but she is actually a very well, very respected. Like she's called the queen of the Nurburgring, and that's not like that's not to be taken lightly shall we say like as i said she's the first female if i'm not mistaken the first woman um to win a race at turnberg green and she's won more than one at least two as far as i remember from the uh from some of the stuff that i was reading earlier on um yeah driving driving porsches i think maybe in a, like an endurance race um and she again she also set up her her own kind of racing team that takes part in in endurance events and like they do Really respectfully, I don't think they've ever won a race or won their class or anything like that, but they've come third again if the, the few bits that I was reading up were accurate. And so that's why I always want to make sure that, that people know that she's not just the girl from, from Top Gear, like the girl in the transit from Top Gear. While I realise the hypocrisy of um, doing a video where I drive a transit around at Nürburgring um, and, and trying to say that that's not all she's known for, I, I'm aware of that. <laughs> Let's just, let me just clear that up. But um, yeah, like she is other than that, like she is more than that, essentially. Like she is actually a very well-renowned um, kind of endurance racing, just driver in general, but I think particularly for endurance racing. And yeah, like apparently apparently she had cancer. I don't know if that was ever revealed or if it was one of those things where the family didn't break the news until after she'd passed, um, which you can see sometimes, like they, the person deals or something, they pass away. Like who was it? The MF Doom, I believe, died like a month before anybody knew, um, which is just crazy. Like nobody, I don't think anybody had any idea the guy was 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 dead let alone sick um for like a month until until whoever his publicist or his family decided it was time to time to announce it and um, so i don't know if this was one of those with sabine or if she was genuinely like uh or if it just came on very suddenly like a very like a severe form of cancer again i don't obviously it's not like nice to speculate um but uh yeah that's it was just very sudden for me i woke up today again paddy's day all hyped for the day and First thing you see, Sabine Smith passed away, age 51, and the age as well, so young, like, so young. That's, like, 51, halfway through your life, basically, like, realistically. For a woman, I think, what are they, they're, they're, the female like, uh, life expectancy is longer than males, like, so, males are, like, 70-something, 80-something, so women, I'd imagine, like, 80, 90 -ish. so to only be 51, she still had so much of her life ahead of her, like, it's such a shame. And to have such a talent, like, lost from the world. Um... Because as well as being a great uh, driver on top of everything else, she was also just a great personality. Everybody, like, if you look at all the tweets, like, that, that repeat the likes of Jeremy Clarkson, I think I've seen uh, Tiffany Dell, a lot of just people people in the racing world that knew her, kind of had nothing but compliments. They were like, she, she was such a lovely, bubby person, and 
that kind of energy that she brought to the infamous top to the famous top gear segment um wasn't like an act she wasn't putting it on a show that's just how she was generally and that was just lovely to see because that's one of the things again driving talent um racing skills and all that kind of stuff aside like her just her personality and her enthusiasm for driving and the confidence that she had as well in herself to be able to be like i'll tell you what you did a 10 minute lap in a, i think it was like a diesel i think the whole point was that it was a diesel jaguar like s class or something like that or s s type or whatever um the confidence and just the the humor to be like you know what i would do that time in a van and then she did <laughs> like just absolutely fantastic so yeah just a sad a sad loss in the world in the in the racing world oh there's that understeer again we save it with a little bit of breaking the inevitable mess up when we get to the youtube kind of section i know we're not quite there yet but um yeah no just again I know we've lost a lot of people and I've not made videos for many other people, but I've been uh, itching to make a video for a couple of, well, a couple of weeks now. It's been a while since I put up a proper one, I feel like, other than the skate montages, which are kind of easy to do. But um, yeah, I haven't done one of these mod reviews in a while. And I was like, you know what? I need to do one of those. I need to, I, I, I want to make a video. I've always wanted to try out the, 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 the transit on the Nordschleife and we don't make a mess up of the number of the YouTube section. Just throwing that in there on the side. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I've always wanted to do, try this try this combination, and I somehow never got around to it. And yeah, it just seemed like a good combination to um, get those two things done, and then to celebrate a bit the uh, the life of a uh, cool person by all accounts. I wonder what the time will be now. I have to say, I've made one mess up at least, so I don't expect anything great. And again, we are on a slightly different layout. This is the tourist section as opposed to the open layout. Um, and they were timing, I believe, if I remember right, they were timing theirs on Top Gear from the, the I think it's called a bridge. Is it the bridge or the gantry or something like that right at the start of the start finish tree? Um, I mean, the lap is the same regardless of how you do it, but this is the tourist one. Oh, it just occurred to me, actually, yeah. Because this is the tourist one, I won't, or the tourist layout, I won't actually be able to complete the lap because it blocks it off. All right, so never mind about the time then. <laughs> Maybe we see if I can get even close as I come across the, uh, it's actually funny, I've got time to like start messing with the mouse and stuff, <laughs> with the ludicrous speed that we're doing. Um, maybe I'll see if we can see what kind of time I'm doing, if I can just load up side quick, side kick really quickly. No, so we're over 10 minutes already. <laughs> like, So never mind, that puts that idea out the window. Sabine Schmidt is ridiculously fast. Um. So yeah, not quite over a minute. I'd say over a minute by the time I <laughs> by the time I get to that bridge thing, um, away. Now again, obviously they use the modified transit and and it's not one to one exactly how they did it and stuff like. But fun, fun little, fun little experience. Great car, Gary Patterson. Absolutely excellent. Recommend it. Thumbs up. Uh, if for some reason you don't have this, again, it's a couple of years old already. There we go. We cross the time with a cross the line ladder with a time of seventy four hours. <laughs> like, but yeah, no, on the, on the van again. The mod absolutely fantastic. Drives brilliantly. Handles fantastic. Looks incredible in VR. Past the VR test a million miles. The sound outside for the uh, the diesel engine sounds fantastic. Inside, not the best there's ever been, or not the best audio there's ever been. But again, if for some reason you've never tried this, that was a fun little experience. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Here's me trying to change the gear with the uh, paddles, forgetting that I've got the shifter. Force the habit. But uh, yeah, as we bring it back into the, the pits there, as I said, I will leave the link in the description uh, to download this thing. Most people should have it by now if you've got a reasonable mod collection. But yeah, leave a link. the link will be in the description. And what can I say? Shout out to Sabine Schmitz. We are sorry to have lost you. But yeah, that's about it. Um, I, I was going to do my normal outro, but it doesn't seem right. I don't like to do the full outro when you're talking about a serious topic like this, asking for likes and subscribes and stuff like that. So I don't know how to end it other than just say rest in peace, Ben Schmidt. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.